Chapter 13 And it came to pass, after seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that a man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth fails when it fills the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was a gathered together a multitude of men, out of number, from the four winds of the heaven, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. But I behold, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet dared fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude, which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and a smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Afterward saw I the same man come down from the mountain, and call unto him another peaceable multitude. And there came much people unto him, whereof some were glad, some were sorry, and some of them were bound, and others some brought of them that were offered. Then was I sick through great fear, and I awakened and said, You have showed your servants these wonders from the beginning, and have counted me worthy that you should receive my prayer. Show me now yet the interpretation of this dream, for as I conceive in my understanding, woe unto them that shall be left in those days, and much more woe unto them that are not left behind. For they that were not left were in heaviness. Now understand I the things that are laid up in the latter days, which shall happen unto them, and to those that are left behind. Therefore are they come into great perils and many necessities, like as these dreams declare. Yet is it easy for him that is in danger to come into these things than to pass away as a cloud out of the world and not to see the things that happen in the last days. And he answered unto me and said, The interpretation of the vision shall I show you, and I will open unto you the thing that you have required, whereas you have spoken of them that are left behind. This is the interpretation. He that shall endure the peril in that time has kept himself. They that be fallen into danger are such as have works, and faith toward all should die. Know this, therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas you saw a man coming up from the midst of the sea, the same is he whom all Oyan has kept a great season, which by his own self shall deliver his creature, and he shall order them that are left behind. And whereas you saw that out of his mouth there came as a blast of wind and fire and storm, and that he had neither sword nor any instrument of war, but that the rushing in of him destroyed the whole multitude that came to subdue him, this is the interpretation. Behold, the days come when all all young will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the signs shall happen which I showed you before, and then shall my son be declared, whom you saw as a man ascending. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle, they have one against another. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as you saw them, willing to come and to overcome him by fighting. But he shall stand upon the top of Mount Zion, 
and Zion shall come and shall be showed to all men being prepared and built like as you saw the hill graven without hands and this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempest and shall lay before them their evil thoughts and their torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented which are like unto a flame and he shall destroy them without labor by the toil which is like unto me and whereas you saw that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Husha, the king, who Shalmaneser, the king of Ashur, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there guard their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Parath by the narrow place of the river. For all Yun then showed signs for them, and held still the flood till they were passed over. For, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Arzareth. Then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now when they shall begin to come. All, all Yun shall stay the springs of the stream again that they may go through. Therefore saw you the multitude with peace. But those that be left behind of your people are they that are found within my borders. Now when he destroys the multitude of the nations that are gathered together, he shall defend his people that remain. And then shall he show them great wonders. Then said I, O Yahuwah Adoni, show me this. Wherefore have I seen the man coming up from the midst of the sea? And he said unto me, like as you can neither seek out nor know the things that are in the deep of the sea, even so can no man upon earth see my son, or those that be with him, but in the daytime. This is the interpretation of the dream which you saw, and whereby you only are here lightened. For you have forsaken your own way, and applied your diligence unto my Torah, and saw it. Your life have you ordered in wisdom, and have called understanding your mother, and therefore have I showed you the treasures of all Oya. After another three days, I will speak other things unto you, and declare unto you mighty and wondrous things. Then went I forth into the field, giving praise and thanks greatly unto all Oya, because of his wonders which he did in time, and because he governs the same, and such things as fall in their seasons. And there I sat three days.